What's going on YouTube? Champer Productions coming back at you with another video. And in today's video, I'll be talking Transformers. That's right, we are doing a Transformers discussion video, and I'll be talking about the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom toy line. So, without further ado, go ahead, take a seat, relax, grab you something to drink, some popcorn, Bojangles Sweet Tea, and let's get into the video. So... Transformers uh, War for Cybertron trilogy. Let's start let's start off where the whole series started. The War for Cybertron trilogy. We started off with Siege. Siege was giving us I don't know if I have it. Yes, I do. Uh, Siege was giving us our classic uh, G1 inspired designs with um, more Cybertronian based alt modes. If you any of you've seen my review for Siege Hound, uh, you'll know he uh, looked just like G1 Hound, but had more of a uh, futuristic sort of truck mode. Uh, that's what Siege was giving us. Hitting the nail on the head kind of designs with G1 and giving us new futuristic alt modes for him. Uh, Prime turned into this very like geared up truck, but looked just like G1 Optimus should. Uh, one big complaint that a lot of people had was all the battle smudging, which I can agree with. I can certainly see how that would be annoying to some people. But then Earthrise came around. Earthrise gave us just the strict G1 designs, and it's a really good line. There are some figures out of that line that have, uh, in my opinion, kind of flunked. Uh, Earthrise Megatron would be an example of that. I really feel like somehow they didn't improve the Siege Megatron mold. I mean, Siege Megatron, that's a great figure. I actually really like that figure. He's really cool. Um, but somehow they managed to mess that figure up. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how. Um, I'm not saying Earthrise's Megatron looks bad, but I definitely feel like they could have pulled it off way better. Um... But yeah, we also got Scorponok in the Titan class format, which was awesome to see. Uh, we got a ton of different characters, Starscream in his classic F-15 uh, fighter jet mode. Just a whole bunch of cool characters in their respective uh, uh, classic alt modes with their classic robot modes. And now we are at where we are now with the Transformers at Kingdom toy line, which is giving us our classic... Uh, Beast Wars characters with realistic looking beast modes uh, from the Beast Wars series. So I wanted to talk about some of my thoughts and opinions about Kingdom and where I think they can go with the toy line as far as the toy line is concerned. As far as the show is concerned, I have no clue what they're going to do. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on Kingdom so far. So let's talk Wave 1. First, uh, this is leader class uh, Beast Wars Megatron. He came out of the first wave, and this is a fantastic figure. This, even though I don't have a whole lot of the Kingdom figures, I actually only have two right now. Even though I only have two, this is by far uh, my favorite, and I think it's going to be hard one to top. Uh, I am really excited about Kingdom Dinobot that's coming out. I'll get into that here in a little bit. He's coming out in Wave 2, but talking Wave 1, uh, starting with the smallest, we have Core Class Rat Trap. This is a figure a lot of people were excited for uh, because the last time we got Rat Trap was all the way back in the Generations toy line, which came out like six years ago, all the way back in 2014. It's been a while, bud. It's been a while. But finally, he is getting the recognition he deserves in a core class scale. And honestly, this is a great figure. I think they really hit it out the ballpark with this figure. I think the sizing, again, is smaller. But he was a small character back in Beast Wars. So I think overall, I think they nailed the design and everything. And I think he looks really, really good in both modes. And again, Kingdom's giving us our classic Beast Wars character designs that we all know and love and giving us these really realistic looking animal modes for these guys. It's, it's really crazy and really cool. Um, definitely uh, a unique departure from Beast Wars, even though it's not that much different. It's refreshing in a way, uh, but I am definitely glad that they're giving us these realistic animal designs because I think it looks cool. I think it's a really cool idea for them to do. So um, we are also getting some of the like Earth mode versions of characters still like uh, we got in the deluxe class lineup of the first wave we've gotten Warpath and um, he looks really good. Last time we saw Warpath was all the way back, I think in the, no, uh, it was Combiner Wars. That's right. We got a Combiner Wars. I actually have that figure. Uh, Combiner Wars, uh, I think it was Legends Class Warpath, and that was back in 2016-ish, I want to say. I'll put a subtitle up if I'm wrong. 
But yeah, it was all the way back then. So it's been a few years since we've seen a Warpath figure and just getting Rat Trap transformed here. Uh, my reviews for both Megatron and Rat Trap will be up on uh, my channel and are in the description box below. So if you want to go check them out. But as you can see, very realistic looking rat mode for this guy. But as I was saying, you know, we are getting realistic... Um, uh, animal modes for these guys, but we're also getting some of our Earth mode uh, characters. Uh, we've uh, we have Warpath so far. We have Cyclonus as well, and then for whatever reason, we got a, a reissue of uh, Leader Class Earthrise Optimus Prime that no one ever asked for. It's just the same figure repackage, which, in my opinion, was a bit of a stupid move on Hasbro's part because they definitely could have filled that in with another character but I can see it being a placeholder for something else coming down the line so overall wave one really good I talked to one of my other fellow reviewers Prime Brick uh, go check him out he's got a great channel going he recently reviewed a uh, Transformers Kingdom Optimus Primal which looks fantastic I'm keeping my eyes open for him um, cause I really want to pick him up. He looks absolutely fantastic but I asked him what his thoughts are of one of the characters coming out of the second wave um, Dinobot. He's my most anticipated figure from Kingdom. He looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, I, I, Dinobot was my favorite character from Beast Wars, so whenever they announced Kingdom, I was like, he is coming, and I'm pretty sure Dinobot was voted into the Transformers Hall of Fame, so I knew with no doubt in my mind that he was coming. It was only a certain amount of time before he came, and he did. He's been announced in the second wave in a Voyager format, and I gotta say, you know, he doesn't look all that bad. The Velociraptor mode... There's some aspects about it that are uh, that definitely could have used improvement, but overall, I think the end product that we're going to get from Dinobot looks absolutely fantastic, and I think some of the other characters that we're going to be getting, like Huffer, uh, which is a G1 design character, uh, we got Inferno has been announced, we got Air Razor coming out of the second wave, a lot of cool characters coming out of the second wave, but definitely my most anticipated figure for that wave, and maybe for this whole lineup. I'm not 100% sure what my favorite figure is going to be, but I'm really looking forward to Dinobot. Um, as far as the third wave is concerned, we have not got any announcements for the third wave. We are still moving on to the second wave, and we're only just now getting figures in from the first wave here at local retailers, at least where I'm living. But um, Beast Wars Megatron, or Kingdom Megatron here. This is a great figure. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about in future lineups uh, or in future waves of Kingdom is uh, one thing I found unique about the packaging for this figure is that on the box it has uh, written his name on the top. It says Megatron, but then in parentheses it says Beast, which why would they need to do that? We are getting a core class Megatron, which is the same size class that Rat Trap is, so he's probably going to be about this tall, but we are getting a core class Megatron, so... Uh, that's G1 inspired, but why does it need to be in parentheses for this guy? Just to state that he turns into the T-Rex. My thought is that they are going to be releasing a Transmetal Megatron. Because it doesn't really make sense in my mind for them to put it in parentheses uh, that it's the Beast Mode version of Megatron. Uh, I don't really see a purpose in it. I, I think it's, you know... It, it's going to be the only leader class Megatron out of the line unless they release another leader class Megatron. So I think definitely that's somewhere they can go with, that's my prediction anyway, that they're going to start giving us Transmetal characters down the line or at least a Transmetal Megatron, it's possible. I don't have any confirmed information on this. Uh, I could be completely wrong. Uh, I, they could just be using it to help tell the difference because there is other Megatrons in, in the Kingdom line. But in other toy lines, such as, uh, like, the live-action verse, there were multiple Megatrons. There was a Voyager-class Megatron for Transformers last night. There was a Legends-class version of uh, Megatron from Transformers last night. My thinking is, is that they're going to make another leader-class Megatron, but this time in his trans-metal dinosaur form. Which also leaves a window open for other characters to come out maybe in a fourth or fifth wave. I'm not sure if we'll get five waves. We may just get four. Um, again, I have no confirmed information on this. This is just my thoughts and opinions. So it's definitely possible that we could be getting a Transmetal Megatron because, in my opinion, there's no other real reason for them to put in parentheses Beast on the box. So uh, I definitely foresee them making a, a 
Transmetal Megatron, if you will, and just getting transform, just getting Megatron transform here. You can see this is this is spot on to Beast Wars Megatron. Like that, that is the design we all know and love from Beast Wars. Get him to stand up a little bit better here. But moving on to some more, uh, some more characters I think that could come out of the line and characters I think Hasbro should invest in. Um, had I made this video sooner, I would have called Dinobot because I knew he was coming. But um, I think a character Hasbro should really invest in if they are going to lean in towards the way of giving us transmetal characters like I think they are. I think there is a good possibility that they'll be giving a Voyager or Leader Class version of Rampage in a Leader Class format. That crazy crab tank robot, I think it's possible. Um, now, as far as when, I don't know. They may not even do it because Rampage was, you know, part of the transmetal line, but... At the time, only a few handful of characters were transmetal. Dinobot, for example, wasn't transmetal, didn't have a, a have like a robotic velociraptor mode. It wasn't until after he was uh, destroyed and reprogrammed into a Predacon that he had a more like robotic velociraptor mode. So it is very possible that we could be getting a transmetal Megatron and then a Rampage figure, which I'd really be excited to see because Rampage was a really cool character. Like he was. He was kind of crazy, if memory serves me correctly. Now, I haven't seen any of the Beast Wars episodes in a long time, so um, or I haven't watched any of the clips in a while. So we may not be getting a uh, Rampage figure, but I would love to see that. I think it is a definitely a good possibility. Um, and plus, if they do make it, I can make another video and said I told you so. Um, definitely, I do think that it is possible that they'll give us a Rampage figure just due to what I'm thinking they'll do with... Uh, Megatron here. Now it could be completely wrong like I said uh, I have no confirmed information of any of what I'm saying uh, this is just me speaking my opinions and what I'm thinking and my predictions um, but yeah like right now Kingdom is a really good lineup like I'm super excited for the rest of the figures that come out of this wave like it is it is a good it is a really good toy line so far and i think it's going to continue to be a good toy line we've seen uh we've already gotten some amazing characters megatron here is one of them optimus primal uh, a lot of people are stoked for black arachnia uh, and a lot are excited for all these different characters megatron here is another top favorite uh, optimus primal um so definitely they got some good figures uh, coming out of this line that everyone's getting excited for and i definitely think they can extend out onto the branch for some transmetal characters later on down the line that's just my prediction um yeah <clears throat> Every time I go to transform this figure, at least in the T-Rex mode, the joints, the waist joints are extremely tight. Um, but yeah, I definitely think they've got some good figures lined up for this toy line. I'm really excited for Dinobot. I think they have been hitting the nail on the head with these character designs and everything. And I think overall, they have some really good figures coming out of Kingdom, and I think where they can take Kingdom as a whole later on down the line within the third and fourth wave with some of these new characters, like I was saying, I'm really hoping they'll make a new Rampage figure because I really think they can do a lot nowadays with that character because the last time we saw Rampage in a toy format was, I think, a San Diego, or not San Diego, it was a BotCon, or not a BotCon, excuse me, guys, uh, Transformers Collector Club figure, which, you know, if you weren't signed up for the Transformers Collectors Club, you couldn't get that figure unless you wanted to pay from, I'm sure, scalpers were getting them and selling them at outrageous prices. So I really think that they could take advantage of the opportunity um, with using some of the transmetal designs and getting us a Rampage. But, you know, aside from our good bud Megatron here, that definitely doesn't look anything like Barney. Yeah, I think they've got some good figures lined up so far. Do I think Kingdom's amazing? Yes. Do I think they've got a lot of good figures going on? Yeah. Do 
do I think they got potential on this line? Yeah. Um, again, I want to give a huge shout out to my good friend Prime Brick. Uh, go check his channel out. I'll leave his link down in the description box below. He's really cool. Uh, got a lot of cool Transformers stuff. He even builds Lego Transformers, which I think is really cool. He's built characters like Metroplex. Um, I believe he did. Uh, I know he did an Omega Supreme. I was about to say, I believe he did a Trepticon. I can't be 100% about that but he's got a lot of cool figures and he's recently reviewed Optimus Primal from the Kingdom toy line and you know I think it was really cool so go check him out link will be in the description below tell him Chamfer Productions sent you and um yeah overall I think Kingdom's got some great figures coming out of it so far I really think that some of the product images and some of the early reviews that we're seeing from some different reviewers. I'm not sure how these people are getting their hands on these figures so early. But yeah, with all the early reviews and stuff and all the pro product images of like Huffer, uh, we've seen Cyclonus, we've seen a whole bunch of different characters. Um, I think Kingdom's got a lot of good stuff going for it. But, you know, that's just my thoughts and opinions on it. I want to hear what you guys think of Kingdom and where you think they can take Kingdom in the comments section below. Do you think they'll give us a Transmetal Megatron and give us some of these more, you know, rare and obscure character designs? Or do you think they're going to stick to more of just some of the Earth Mode characters and then just give us strictly Beast Wars characters? I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me. Champion Productions, signing off.